Attorney General Bob Ferguson announced a potential agreement between Washington and three of the country's largest opioid distributors. The agreement would have McKenzie Corp., Cardinal Health Inc., and Amerisource Virgin Drug Corp. paying $518 million over the next 17 years for their alleged role in fueling the state's opioid epidemic. Resources the Attorney General says are vital. These resources will help Washington state address this crisis, this epidemic, that touches every community in our state. Pierce County is one of those communities standing on the front lines of the fight against opioid abuse. Statistics from the Washington State Department of Health show that opioid-related deaths have more than doubled since 2012 in Pierce County. Washington is looking at several strategies to reduce the numbers, including school-based and youth-focused programs. Jason Johnstone supports the approach because he says the ones suffering are getting younger. I had an 11-year-old overdose. It's getting that young, you know, and, and people don't understand that these drugs are everywhere. All you have to do is is know somebody that knows somebody and you, and you can get it. And kids just don't understand uh, the damaging effects that it's having on their their brains as they grow up. The Tacoma Pierce County Health Department is a task force that provides resources to those suffering from opioid abuse, such as methadone treatment programs. And Chelsea Amato says this work is about so much more than statistics. These are not just numbers. These are people's uh, community members, our neighbors, our loved ones, our family and friends. I've personally um, been affected by, by overdose. And, you know, it's just we really need to be supporting each other as a community. Now, Pierce County Council Chairperson Derek Young also encouraged anyone that is struggling with opioid abuse to reach out to the number 211 to get available resources and any help you need. But for now, we're live in Tacoma. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.